welcome to the session so today we shall discuss about applications of bernoulli's principle so in last class we discussed about bernoulli's principle so keep in uh, remember that one so principle of bernoulli's so by using that one so one of the application we shall discuss so first we shall see what is the meaning of a flux the meaning of a flux means that is it is the flow of liquid through a hole of tank that we are going to call a flux nothing but hole in the portion that we are going to call a flux so next we shall see expression for speed of a flux using torresen's law so this is the diagram we are using so we are considering the tank so in the tank it is filled with water and at the side of the tank there is a small hole that we are going to call a flux and here from this diagram it is filled with water it is a liquid tank so in this diagram a1 is the area of cross section of the hole that is shown here and same thing a2 is the area of cross section of the tank that is shown here this is empty space and h1 is that is height of the liquid from bottom of the tank to the hole so that is shown here h1 and here h2 is the height of the liquid from bottom of the tank to the liquid surface that is shown here h2 and v1 is the velocity of liquid at the hole so v1 is the velocity of liquid at the hole and v2 so that is the downward velocity of the liquid at the liquid surface and p1 is the pressure p1 and p2 are the pressure of liquid so p1 that is that is the pressure of liquid at hole that is equal to we are considering p0 and p2 is the pressure of liquid at the surface so here by using bernoulli's principle for the point 1 so here i showed one means so it is filled the tank is filled with water here here no water means atmospheric pressure is present so if you apply the bernoulli's principle to this reason to this surface therefore i consider this one as point 1 so if you apply bernoulli's principle what it become half Rho v1 square plus of half sorry plus of rho g h1 plus of p naught is equal to constant we are taking. Let us consider that one as equation one. Same thing. So this is for point one. So for the point two means for this surface if you apply the Bernoulli's principle. By applying Bernoulli's principle, if you write the equation, so we are having that one. Half rho v2 square plus of rho g h2 plus of p a is equal to constant. So let us consider that one as equation two. And where from this rho is the density of the liquid. We know since this area two is far greater than the area one means, then velocity becomes zero. so therefore that is liquid at the top is almost at rest position that is the meaning so therefore this equation 2 become rho g h2 plus of p2 is equal to constant let us consider that one as equation 3 so comparing equation 1 and equation 3 this is equation 1 and this is equation 3 so comparing equation 1 and 3 we are getting Half rho v1 square plus of rho g h1 plus of p a is equal to rho g h2 plus of p2. Just compare equation one and two. So here, just modify this one. So half rho v1 square is kept as it is at the left hand side, and in the right hand side, so rho g h2 plus of p2 minus of rho g h1 plus of minus of p a. so we want expression for speed of a flux therefore v means that is the speed of a flux v1 we want therefore whatever we are going to find keep at left hand side and remaining all the terminology are brought to 
right hand side therefore it become v1 square is there if you remove the square uh, in the right hand side it becomes square root so v1 is equal to root of so this 2 it comes to right hand side cross multiplication will become 2g in the bracket h2 minus of h1 plus of 2 into so this 2 is multiplied for every whole equation 2 into p2 minus of pa divided by rho so here v1 is kept as it is so we know h2 minus of h1 is nothing but height so h2 minus of h1 this difference of these two we are getting h therefore so this h2 minus h1 is substituted as h so it becomes root of 2g h plus of 2e in the bracket p2 minus of pa divided by rho so this is the final expression for consider this one as equation for this is final expression for speed of a flux so by considering the same equation let us see some special cases so these are the some special cases so if p2 is far greater than pa atmospheric pressure then what it become 2g h it can be neglected then speed of the upflux it become then this equation 4 it becomes so v1 is equal to root of 2 into p2 divided by rho why because 2g h can be neglected this is the first special case and let us see second special case by considering the same equation of speed of a flux so if tank is open so what it become the condition is p2 is equal to pa p2 it become this p2 it become atmospheric pressure then this equation 4 it becomes v1 is equal to root of 2gh so v1 is equal to root of 2p2 divided by rho and second one v1 is equal to root of 2gh so these are the two special cases you have to remember so this equation we are going to call Torricell's law so here this is the, one of the important expression for speed of a flux so we derive this one by using Torricell's law so this definitely they will ask for 5 marks so try to practice this one and try to get 5 marks